and this is part three what I've decided on doing this is a 4BL case it's not snapped up there I'm gonna put this case onto the engine for the white one here's the case of the white one it's all snapped and everything so it's worth changing I may as well I think I see it's all rough it's snapped here where the bolt there should be a bolt hole here for the casing um, but it's a 3BN 03Y1 that one's exactly the same 3BN 03Y1 just everything's exactly the same inside them as well so putting that casing on I've got this case as well will come with it I don't think there's nothing wrong with this so I'll probably just sand that down and clean that clean that one down use that one so I'm gonna go and give this a wash sand it down in that so that's the case I'm putting on now I've just cleaned it all up pop them bearings out I'm just I'm gonna sand all this down now and get all this painted grey colour I've just got this one for the other side this from the older one it's already dark grey but I'll be painted up but check all the walls the bolts are all good normally that one's snapped up there for the water pump well, that's all right I'm going to get it cleaned up. I see what it looks like under there because I don't know if that's well or not. That's what we'll clean that side now. Just a few little bits to get out. A bit clean in there to do. This is the clutch case off it as well and I've just been checking. You can see the dent there. When you look inside look. See the crack down there. So I've got one of these upstairs, I'm just now cleaning it, I have to take the oil pump up and I might use that. That's the wrong with off screw out as well, and all that's wrong with them. Just get the more grips in, the more grips gets them off. That bar's bent there, it's got a dent in, so I'll chuck that but I'll keep that pipe there. So I'll keep that, so I'll put that on the new casing because there's nothing wrong with that. And that's the case and I'm putting on it. It's an old one, but it's got the old oil pump case on. And that's the case cleaned, sanded. That's the state of the barrel. Sand the mat down. Sand the mat down as well. And now I'm going to clean the pole valve up. That's the pole valve done now. Got a stubble as well. Clean that. Get that sand and paint it round there and I'm going to do the head while I'm on I've just took the thermostat off the thermostat cover there's no thermostat in so I'm just going to clean all this now it's rough as well I've got 3MB heads but I'm just going to leave this 3BN head on so they on that side Right, I'll get this cleaned and sanded. So now, <clears throat> all the casings are all done. I've been on all night sanding them and painting them. It's 10 to 6 in the morning now. Put up the 8 hour shift in. So we'll have a look at these. Let's put the grey yamaha colour, what the dark ones are. This was silver. 
Don't know what was on it, it was smashed there and everything. That's the casing. Here's the end cap. That's it out there. Water pump case. <coughs> side casing not that side Here's the real case as well. I've got this pole valve end cap. It's very much that cover. Head. with the torch off. The torch is made in the glitter show. There's the clutch basket. Um clutch casing. <coughs> Put the new oil pump in it. If I had a better one I would have used a better one but this one will do it looks alright when it's painted. And that's what it looks like all painted the engine. Get another good Yamaha normal panel. I'll put it up against it and show the match and colours. And that's an old oil pump cover. That's what it looks like. I'll knock the torch off. Yeah. Exactly the same. I've just bought one of those in grey last night. The case what goes on there. And I've got I've got this one here. This blue one this is all crap, it's been painted, it's all crap and everything. So, that other one's going on there. And I've just sold that the day on eBay to CR 1985 front exhaust. So, I found two white radiator panels, I've bought them because these ones are painted on this. Originals on. Look for two back panels. There's a back mud guard on eBay. I'll have a think about that. Just thinking what else I can do with this. Well, I'm waiting for the part coming. Just checking the back caliper. There's no boot on there. So I'm going to be doing that. I'll take that off and I'll paint that caliper up. I'm going to get a new one of those chains sliders as well and I'm gonna find a monocross sticker and I might get this swimming on painted while the engine's out while I'm waiting for parts everything's ordered so it should be everything's here in a week apart from the con rod but when the um the rods come I'm sending the crank the crank off while I'm waiting I'm just gonna clean all the take all these off take all this off clean all this up Get this painted around here. And get the swimming arm done. To clean everything up, clean all that off there. Need to snorkel as well. Yeah, I'll clean the back bottle. Front folks is alright. 
I am going to start stripping it now. So I just took all the back end off. <coughs> we'll clean that up. We'll sand that down. It's all rough. And I've got a new back wheel foot as well. Um, a new front tyre, I mean. So we'll put that on. Got all the back end off. That's all clean. I get the swinging arm off tomorrow. With chain guard, back collar that painted. Fix whatever's up there. The slider pins probably rusted into this bit here. Hopefully not, because they're hard to get off. But we'll just see how it goes. Now I'm going to take all the back end off. Do the back collar. There's all clean as well. It's a back wheel off. Back brake off. A back brake. Brad, I'll clean that up and get that painted. Swinging arm come off next. Get that painted up. So the swinging arm's off now. Back shot is off. I'm gonna sand the swinging arm down. I've got a new one of them. I said that before. Um, take these end caps off, clean them up. Check the black. See your things inside them. Look all right actually. So I'll we'll clean all that up. Probably take the front caliper off next. I'm just done taking the front light off. And there's the air box snorter down there. So that's good as well. I'm just gonna get the the light off and that. Front caliper off. Swinging arms upstairs to be painted. I've got the stair bracket off. I'm gonna Sand that down. I'm going to take all this bottle off, clean the radiator pipe, take the radiator off, clean all this, clean all that one. Oh, it's got a crack down there. I'll put a new one on. I get the front carpet off. I'm not sure if these had black, black yokes or silver yokes on this model. Clean all the oil, the oil bottle on that. And I'm going to get the top yokes off. Do them black. So I've just found a better radiator. This one here. The grill on the front's good as well. It's good under there. So I'll just put that one instead. I think the grill. It's good that. And that's the yokes off. <clears throat> I'm gonna do them black. So that's the top yokes on now. Back brake master cylinder on. I'm gonna get some new bolts. Oh, well, aren't rusty for there. Some of them clips. Clean the oil bottle. Got the front colour appeared. Got the radiator painted now. All right, compared to what it was. <laughs> Bought that bearing from Hunters. They're Fowlers. Twenty pound, you're gonna get them for anywhere else. I had two bearings. Every friend had some bearings left of a rebuild. So I've got them off him. There's the clutch on one, I'm gonna put that in. Got the horn painted. Top clamps painted. Top yoke nut. Black swing arm nut. Don't know if that was a good idea to paint it black, but I'll, I'll find out. Got the horn bracket. Got the steer bracket. Two more seals there, what I already had. I've got that off me kit, off the kid, off me mate. The, the back. That's done now as well. Got front four clamp painted. Back colour them. Mount painters, 
back colour. Uh, Slide of paint come out, all right. Just put in there. The Still got the little ring in. Order. Just just pop that out. Right out the Here's the panels. Blue, white. White. I think that's white underneath, but it looks like it's been painted or not. Blue, actually. Blue underneath. Blue underneath. Black underneath. The frame's been purple. I don't know if some of these panels are purple or if it's a blue colour. That looks blue. I can't really tell. Hold on. Might be the purple colour ones. These are all over part I cleaned up. See how about all. It's come out well compared to what it was what was on the bike. Done all the back. So we'll black that when it was on it. It's not all right now. Cleaned that. I've got the set up on it, but I don't know, I've got a little coating on. I've got tons of sets in the loft, so I'll put a new set on. Got the battery keys done. You can see there from up the back behind up the mud garden. That's clean enough. The airbox is clean. It's not us downstairs. So I'm gonna start putting all these bits back on now. I don't know about the back wheel yet. So an arm can't go on yet, but all the front end bit can go on. The radiator and the oil bottle. And there's some of the engine. There's the oil pump. What I'm going to put in the new case and I put on. There's the engine. There's nothing in it. I just put it, up, put it all together to see what it would look like. But it looks nice. Same match as well. That's what I like about it. There's the rest of it. All I'm waiting for is a Conrad kit off eBay. Once that's back, I can build it back up because I've got all the bearings in there now. I've just got to wait for the Yamaha gaskets off my other friend. But anyway, we'll start getting all the bits onto the frame now. I've got most of the back part on. I'm going to buy the proper indicator bolts for the airbox up. Let's see the battery case doesn't need to be clean. Can't see it, but the airbox is clean and that. I've got the Snorkel of one. Cleaned all the old box. It's looking alright. I've got the top yokes on. Just oh, done some up and snapped it. That's the top yokes. It's the radiator. I've got the forks over here. It's a DTX frame there. The only difference with the DTX exhaust fits there, it's slanty, whereas DTR ones are there. So when you buy an exhaust and you think, oh, DTX one will fit, it won't fit. Or if you buy a normal DTR deck pipe and fit up, you think, oh, I'll put on my de DTX, won't go on because that's slanty. And you've got that, but you just bang that off and bang that off. And you can put all the orbits on that now. Anyway, here's the forks. Show the torches on. So it took us here just to sand them down. They were all switched on the bottom. I've just got black Yamaha gators. I don't know if it would put red gators on. I kind of find the red Yamaha ones. So I want to put the Yamaha ones because they're like thin. Get these poor grip ones, the canny fat. But I'll just put the black ones on for the time being. Easy change it. So we'll get these on now. And a day the water pump seal come. I just got that off eBay for five pounds. Cheaper than buying a proper one. It's the Yamaha one. <coughs> I just found one of them. I'm gonna put that air front spotted on 16 tooth. It's off a Jalera. The back indicator there, it's already got the back bracket on with the one hole. 
and I've got them too as well. The corn rods come, what's the main thing? So I'll send the tank away tomorrow to get that done. I've cleaned all the bait, the forks, the them painters. I've cleaned all the oil bottles and stuff. <coughs> Something better than what it was. See that water bottle. It's in the top yokes. Just need to take a few more things on. <coughs> Got the calipers to put on. I may put them on tonight. Where the front one, because I can't put the back one on, because the swing arm isn't done yet. But we'll just see how I get on. Get some stuff done. Oh, and I found found a pot of brake, a brake bolt with a little hole in for the pin in the back. It's just better than the one. Wait, but you can't see the one that's on, but it's a big rusty nut. Um, I've been finding screws off the good ones I've stripped. There's some were chewed on this, so I'll put the screw. I'll put some of these into this engine when it's. When the crank comes back, I'm just going to see if I can clean that headlight up as well inside. Just a bit dirty. So we'll be putting the front brake caliper on now. Just get that. And just check for splits because the one I've just been going to put in had a split in around there. So I'm going to put this one in instead. So once the rubber bit's in, Pack it. Pack it with red grease. Push the bar through. And then pack in there with red grease as well. And then pack in here where the slider pin goes with red grease. And then the little ring that pops out of there. Is now there and one of that boot to that boot can just push in you see now I have to tap it all in what's all in now that ring there under my fingers that's keeping this boot in now both sides of this agree just push this through a couple of times so it pushes up We even get some grease in there. It's pushed through. Look at that hole in there. Now we can slide on the slider pin. The slider pin's there. That that's the grip on the top of it. Just to give that a clean if it's got anything in, because that part of the boot here slots into there when it's sure. So I'll just clean this up. Push the pad clips in, that way it slots in. You push the slider pin up as well. And you just push it on. That's it on now. Let's see when that's on and that's pushed down and on it over that. Just gonna put the caliper on the bank now. That's all I can do in this bid. Got the bearings and a couple of seals there. Got everything on what I could get on apart from the swing arm. Cleaned all the oil bottle up and that. Radiator. Got all this little clean. Cleaned inside the headlamp. Paint at the forks. Paint at the colour. The pads in, rigged up. So I'm sending the con rod away tomorrow with the crank. And he said it would be a three day turnover. So I can't do nothing for three days. Nothing else to be clean the front wheel off camera. Um, and then as soon as the 
the trunk goes back the bearings are there cases are in there and get the engine on put the engine by in all right thanks for watching